quick revision video on acyl chlorides, also known as acid chlorides. So we'll start by looking at what they are. The derivatives of carboxylic acids where the OH group has been replaced by a chlorine atom. So in general terms they look like this and they're called acyl chlorides because this part here is an acyl group, the RC double bond O. Quick exercise on naming acyl chlorides. So this one here, two carbons, ethanoyl chloride. Next one is this one here, so we've got one, two, three, four carbons, so this is butanoyl chloride. We'll look at this one next, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six in the longest continuous chain. So this is going to be a hexanoyl chloride. We've got a methyl group here at carbon number one, two, three, four, not three. That's carbon number one where the functional group is. So this is 4-methyl hexanoyl chloride. Similar one here, longest chain, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 2-methyl butanoyl chloride. And we'll finish with this aromatic one. So it's benzoyl chloride, but we've got a methyl group at carbon number 3. So 3-methyl benzoyl chloride. How do we make acyl chlorides? Well, they're made by reacting carboxylic acids with something called thionyl chloride, which has the formula SOCl2. And there's the general equation. Carboxylic acid plus thionyl chloride gives us the acyl chloride, sulfur dioxide gas, and hydrogen chloride gas. So you would see fumes of hydrogen chloride coming off this reaction. So a specific example, this one here is propanoic acid reacting with thionyl chloride and it's making propanoyl chloride. Really important that water is not present because acyl chloride is very, very reactive things. It's going to react with the water present if it's there and give you a carboxylic acid. So obviously if you want to make the acyl chloride, then you need to keep water out. So the equation for that would look like this. Propanoyl chloride plus water is going to make propanoic acid and hydrogen chloride. Move on to the reactions of acyl chlorides now. So they're very, very useful chemicals in organic synthesis because you can make lots of different things from them. So they can be used to make esters, including phenyl esters. That's really important because you can't make phenyl esters from carboxylic acids. So I'll give you an example of that in a moment. Carboxylic acids can be made from acyl chlorides. We've already seen that reaction, but we'll have another look at it in a moment. And you can also make primary and secondary amides. So in general terms, there's an acyl chloride, that's ethanoyl chloride, and we're going to think about the chemical that it's reacting with in the form of HY. And all we're going to do is lasso out that HCl and going to stick the Y where the Cl was. And so you're going to make these types of molecules. So you'll see that in action now. So esters first. Acyl chloride plus alcohol is going to give us an ester and hydrogen chloride. So the first example I'm using is ethanoyl chloride and methanol. So there's the displayed formulae for them. And remember, we're just going to lasso out this HCl and stick this onto here. So that's the structure of the ester. And remember, we get HCl produced as well. So this ester would be called methyl ethanoate. An example of a phenyl ester now. Remember, this is not possible using um, a carboxylic acid. So the starting point would be this. There's the propanoyl chloride in its structural formula and phenol C6H5OH. We're going to lasso out the HCl and join the rest together. So that's what the ester would look like. And what have we got here? We've got a phenyl group and one, two, three, so propanoate, phenyl, propanoate would be this phenyl ester. So moving on to making carboxylic acids, remember this is possible if there's any water present when you make your acyl chloride. Acyl chloride plus water gives carboxylic acid and hydrogen chloride. The example I'm going to use is this one, ethanoyl chloride plus water. So there's the starting chemicals. And we're going to take an H from the water molecule, combine it with the Cl, and put the OH that's left here. And so there's your products, obviously ethanoic acids, the carboxylic acid produced. 
So moving on to the two types of amides now, we'll start with primary amides and I'll explain what that means in a second. So acyl chlorides react with ammonia to produce a primary amide and hydrogen chloride. So again, if you draw it up in displayed formula, it's quite easy to work out what's going to happen. We take the HCl and we put the NH2 that's left here. So this is what we're making. This is a primary amide because the nitrogen is bonded to one carbon. So what's this called? This is called ethanamide. And finally, secondary amides. So this time we're going to take an acyl chloride and react it with an amine now, not ammonia. That's going to give us a secondary amide and hydrogen chloride. So again, displayed formula really helps. We're going to lasso out HCl and stick what's left where the Cl was. So this is what it's going to look like. And it's a secondary amide because the nitrogen is now bonded directly to two carbons. What's this going to be called? Well, we've got a methyl group on the nitrogen of ethanamide. So it's called N-methyl ethanamide.